Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've been asked the question on how to refill or top up these water dancing speakers. So these speakers right here are Boom Beats speakers. They are indeed a sealed unit, but I will say that as this is an electronic item, well, an advisory has to be put in place. So guys, if you're not tech savvy or if you have no experience with electronics, I wouldn't attempt it. You could possibly damage your speakers completely attempting this. But let's go ahead and well, let's crack on. So first of all, this particular speaker here, being the Boom Beat speaker set, well, we're just going to take out the four screws to the back. Once they've all took out, just place them into a little box so not to lose them. Now the screws I've took out and put to the side, it will be hard to split open the base by hand. So go ahead and get a coin, like it's 20 pence just there. At least the queen's head's good for something. You can also use a old credit card, etc. And pry open the vertical slots to the left and right side of the base. Apply a bit of pressure, pulling gently, but being very careful, as wires are indeed attached. So yeah, here's what you get inside, and it's kind of minimal, but... I must admit, they actually do sound great for such a small driver unit. Top right hand corner guys, if you want to see the unboxing and review of these speakers, they are pretty good. There's a little motor just here, but first of all what we're going to do is we're going to detach the base from the top liquid canister. And let's go ahead and take the little circuit board off by taking out these two screws, again securing them in the box. Release the screws too to the motor, and with little pressure, the motor should simply pop out. Let's move the base to the side, and yeah. So like I said, these are water dancing speakers, but in fact, inside, it is actually light mineral oil. So no, it's not as thick as most common mineral oils. You could most possibly use water to refill these speakers, but I don't know the effect of that, and if maybe damp spots may appear. But what we need to do is we need to top these speakers up today with one inch of liquid. As you may see here, there's a small plug. This one is indeed sealed, but you may have one with a black seal cap, which you can simply pry off with a screwdriver. This one though, well, it's going to need drilling. So here you go, see if the goggles on and let's drill. Bear in mind again to be as gentle as possible and try not to contaminate the inside of your speakers with excess drilled plastic. Okay, so now that's drilled, we're just going to go ahead and top it up with water. I'm going to use one inch of mimble oil just here. And basically, I've gone ahead and cut the lid of an empty glue tube. I'm going to use this as a type of funnel to funnel the water into the hole. And as you can see, it fits in perfectly. Ooh. Let's top up the oil. Being very patient. <sighs> So once it's topped up, bubbly dry through the speaker. Now, because this speaker doesn't come with a removable cap, we're just going to make one. And this is where a super glue lid comes in handy. I'm just going to go ahead and take the tip of the lid and snip it off around 8mm from the top. It will look a bit like this one I prepared earlier. I've always wanted to say that. Let me just place it in the fill cap, just like so, making sure it's tight as can be. Oh, thanks. Let's cover the surface first, and what I'm going to do is ever so precisely glue the edge of the snipped upside down lid in place. Making sure we go around the rim, and if you want, you can fill the 8mm snipped lid if need be. However, if you do, drying times may be longer. But that's what I'm going to do, and... 20 minutes later! So now, I've waited and it's completely dry. Let's just make sure there's no leaks. And for this, make sure it's left stood vertical. If it does leak, then apply more glue to make it more secure. But if it's all good, let's go ahead and reverse the fitting procedure. Placing back the motor with the two screws. Reattach the small circuit board. Again, using two small screws. Align the slots on the liquid canister to the base. And gently clip together both halves of the speaker base. All that's left is the four screws. Now that's all tightly secure. And there we have it. All topped up and ready to party. Get on. <laughs> guys i hope this guide helped i mean if your speaker has leaked you could just go ahead and buy some gimmicky speakers again they are fairly cheap and what i'll do is i'll leave some links in the video description down below where to buy some well pretty good ones while you're there in that description go ahead and share this video wherever possible like subscribe and make sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads Remember, water and electricity isn't a great couple. They're fierce. So be careful. And this guide is definitely for adults only. So be bored. Thanks for watching, guys. And as usual, you've been absolutely amazing. I'll see you guys over on my new video coming for you soon. And thanks for watching. Peace.